Hi guys, Danny here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Alone in the Dark. Here, perfect. Okay. Oh right, the radio just like does that. Okay, adjust and focus. Are we trying to get all these colors on top of each other? Uh, to double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument, then operate the fine tuner to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear. Okay. Uh, and appear flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Okay, so it just needs to look clear. Is the lens cap on? Well, it definitely looks clear... Clear-est when I get as close as possible. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm just trying to find the... The perfect... The radio is driving me crazy. Stop. Or gramophone, whatever. I'm gonna need you to stop. Okay, a clear picture and everything is flat. Maybe I am trying to get them all? Like on top of each other? But if I'm too far away, God, I don't know what they want from me. <laughs> I don't know what they want from me. I feel like I should. Ay, ay, ay. Don't know. I don't know. I can get the ones in the middle, but the. I'm gonna take a screen grab. Please do. Oh, fuck. How do I make it look. Keep scoping out? Wait, what happened? It's really clear now. What happened? Hey, quick question. What the fuck happened? I didn't do anything! <laughs> I don't think I got how to do that at all. Yeah, easy. First try. <laughs> Find the talisman coordinates. Okay. Oh. Oh, slide puzzle. I could do that. Oh, it's not even a slide puzzle. Okay, hold on a sec. Okay. Okay, those two definitely go together. There's probably a picture to be able to do this, huh? We didn't stare long enough, I guess. I guess. Why would I not just go off of vibes when I could just go off of vibes? 947, did you see that? It was pure vibes. Wait, what's going on? It's entering the numbers by itself? Okay, uh, great, so where is that? That's in the dining room. And the fireplace. You need to stay still. Oh, okay. And so when I was when I was mad and looking for the answer, it cleared up. I see. Okay. Okay, so now we do need to go upstairs. we just need to stay still. I refuse. Absolutely refuse. Okay, uh, this is the right. This is good. Wait, 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 Um. Okay, is this... The dining room or is this a bathroom? This is a fucking bathroom. This is a fucking bathroom. Okay, is this the dining room? Yes, perfect. Okay, this is where I need to be. Ah, here we go. 
What do you mean, here we go? What did you see? What did you see that I didn't see? What did you... And what did you see that I didn't see? <sighs> I saw the plant. Mm hmm. Oh, I. S oh, the glowing door. <laughs> oh, how could I miss it? All right, never mind. Chapter three. You should not have come, Emily. How do you know my name? Have we met? In a manner of speaking. As a manifestation of Yermi's deepest desires, I am to you unfamiliar, yet I know of you. Are you Jeremy? Is that what you're saying? I am only his subconscious thoughts. I cannot speak for his totality. How come you have a Spanish accent? And what is this place? Is this Tarawea? This is indeed the fabled convent of Tarawea, where Yermi goes to find peace during his sessions with Dr. Gray. It's all fantasy, then. Based on the things he has read and seen. And that includes you? Yes. My name is Juan Luis Jorge. Yermi once read a book of mine. It stuck with him. Can you help me break the pact with the Dark Man so we can leave Dorsetto? Yermi doesn't want you to. He wants to honor his word to the Dark Man. Why? What's the point? I don't understand what the pact is for. The people of Dorsetto are calling upon evil to enter this world. Your uncle offered his soul to the Dark Man to contain this disaster. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. The pact will be fulfilled at dawn. As the sun rises, Yermi will forever be entombed in his sunken desert temple. As promised, the Dark Man shall quarantine and starve the evil inside their seto. What about all the patients and the staff? They will not stand the chance. That's unacceptable. How could Yermi agree to this? Desperation, of course. Yeremi did not choose martyrdom lightly. Well, nothing is lost yet. I'm sure I can find a way to break the pact and save Jeremy. And hopefully the people at Dorsetto. What even is this evil you're talking about? I don't know much. I think some nightmarish entity from the bayou. I'll just have to deal with that later. First, I have to get Jeremy out of his deal. What? Did you run out of arguments? You're actually quite inspiring, Miss Emily. If we put Jeremy's feelings aside, I would have to say I agree with you. Really? You might just be able to save the old man from himself. I think you should take a look in the convent library. Try to find the truth about Jeremy's relationship with the Dark Man. Okay. You should know that you won't be alone in those grand halls. The Dark Man has been reading those books for years. He's... here? You'll have to be very careful. Of course. I... I can be careful. Good luck, Miss Emily. Uh... Okay. Okay. Alright, uh, so... Okay, so he said that he was going to give his soul to the Dark Man and it was going to save a bunch of people because the evil was going to come out on like a world scale? But that would mean everybody in the building that I'm stuck in, I think, probably dies. <laughs> I was on, I was on Jeremy's side. I was like, oh, okay, like, you're gonna basically give your soul to save a bunch of people. That's pretty, like, okay, yeah, like, I don't know why we would stop you. But if it kills everybody unbeknownst to everybody else, I guess, he, he, didn't he say the staff was a little bit evil? I don't know if they're actually evil or if they're just possessed. But that includes us, so I guess we can't let that happen. Don't I have a light? I do. How do I turn it on? There we go. Okay. Uh. Okay. 
Okay, vibes here, immaculate. We also need to find the code for the safe. Okay. Nothing up here before I heat myself down there. I don't remember how to fall, or not fall. I don't remember how to fight at all. <sighs> but it just saved, so that's good. <laughs> oh. oh, that was kind of a squeeze through, but it was a uh, canvas. Well, this place rocks. Aesthetic. I oh, mean, we really took a second to. I immediately wanted it in the water. <laughs> I immediately wanted it in the water. Okay. Okay, I can't go this way. I love the sunlight streaming in and like the vines. Like, ooh, that's so nice. Uh oh. Hmm, there's something missing. Okay, we need a hollow cross. Fair enough. Well, I have a cross. I think. <sighs> the zoom in button. Nice. Hey, you want a high five? how to fight at all nor do i remember how to dodge dodge okay oh something for sure is gonna try to get me okay the great library it was endless beautiful and terrible an akashic record for the universe Inside the mind of Jeremy Hartwood, now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian. The only thing invisible to the Prowler. Okay. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. It will, it's the key. Its key will be left to the librarian. The only thing invisible to the Prowler. I don't know what I'm meant to get from that. But I don't love the thought that there's a librarian around going to fucking murder me. Oh, there's blood on the stairs. I'm pretty sure I can't. There's no, like, sneaking. Is there? I don't think there is. What's you pointing to? I'll go up there in a second, okay? I'm looking for secrets. Why did it just save? Why did it just save? I don't like that. This is where another pedestal is. I don't see anything to pick up though. It saved. I'm scared. Okay, I'm going upstairs. Maybe that's a place we can hide if 
this is a thing that needs to be hidden from. I feel like it's not something we could probably fight. Oh, this is not going to be a good time. This is going to be quite a scary time. Okay, I see... Perhaps a secret little place back here. I don't know if it is actually a secret or if this is actually where I need to be. I'm going in there though. Yeah. I hope this doesn't start anything. What's this? Okay. Nice. Okay. So I get forbidden knowledge. Okay. Okay, uh, bull worship is common throughout history. For Christians, this can be seen in Exodus when the Israelites turned to worship a golden calf in Moses' absence. This passage shows the people falling back to the worship witnessed in Egypt known as the Hapis Bull. Another famous example is the Minoans. Oh, I'm gonna fucking mess up all of these dang words. I'm so sorry. On the island of Crete. Their worship of the bull gave rise to the myth of the Minotaurs, the half-man, half-bull monster that reigned the labyrinth. But for this particular case, I think I should tell you about the deity, Astarte, uh, that brought the, the Taurus constellation to life to attack Gilgamesh. Even for a mythical hero, the celestial bull would prove difficult to defeat, only by distracting the bull with a golden sail was Gil uh, Gil Gilgamesh able to pierce an eye with a spear which bled the bull to death. Uh, this isn't about this librarian, right? <laughs> like, there's, I'm not gonna have to, I have a feeling I'm, I'm in danger. And this is gonna be rough. Yeah. I'm gonna do my best. Okay, so we can't go that way, so we need to go this way. I'm gonna guess we just need to keep going up. I'm so scared to run, but I'm gonna continue this way. Okay, that's glowing. Oh, can we jump off into the pool? Okay, that we need that. Hmm, there's something missing. Okay. So we're just gonna... After the suspended room was built, its key was given to the convent librarian Hubertus to keep Jeremy's darkest secrets from, safe from prowling eyes. Fuck, I knew that was gonna happen. Don't shoot at the dark man. Learn that. I learned I learned that lesson now. That lesson was learned. It was learned. Okay, maybe we can just go up here. Down, actually. Maybe we can just go down. Uh, okay, do not do not do not. So do not try to attack him. Oh my god, 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 what do I do? I died. 
die. Yikes, 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 what just happened? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, where do I go? Well, I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Hey, what am I meant to do here? I see the room. Maybe he'll go away. <laughs> What was the point of this fucking room? Am I hiding sufficiently? It's all chill now. That's good. Okay. <laughs> uh, yikes. I I am not um I'm not convinced I'm safe, I'm gonna be honest. Secret room. Okay, so that's where I came from. Okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> sure. Let me read some knowledge. Nothing bad will happen to me, I'm sure. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext Shipping Company pressing their contribution. Um... Emily! Behi I'm behind you. <gasps> Emily, uh, you're about to get messed up. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> Could you not? I'm kindly asking. I hope you found what you were looking for, Emily. I fear there is no going back. Hey. He's in my head, Juan. His breath replacing mine. You should not have come, Emily. Is this helping? I guess it was. Thanks for sticking your thumbs in my eyes. Preach. <laughs> is that my Ruthie? Is that my sweet, sweet Ruth? Well, if it isn't my new best friend. Come, join me for some giggle water. Ah, <sighs> Ruth? Oh, Miss Hartwood, don't tell me you've been out swinging without me. Ruth, what is this place? Where are we? Have you never been to the Maccabean before? Goodness me. Tell me, Miss Hartwood, have you ever considered going out for an evening? Are we in New Orleans? Oh, who can tell anymore? I just went inside the Grand Parlor and suddenly here I am. The Grand Parlor? Can I get back to Dorsetto from here? 
Are you sure you want to? We could stay here and drink the night away. How about a gin fizz? Yes, please. If this is New Orleans, maybe I should go further. Find that magic show the book was talking about. But there was no address, just Preg's shipping company. Oh, is this about where Jeremy met the dark man? How do you know about that? <laughs> Jeremy talked a lot about the dark man. I always felt a bit envious. How so? If an all-powerful entity showed me any interest, I'd at least hear him out. I'm sure he has plenty to offer. I don't think you'd want that, Ruth. You're too sweet for such darkness. <laughs> oh, please. What kind of blue nose do you take me for? I relish the darkness. I think it suits me. <laughs> You don't happen to know how to find the Preg's shipping company, do you? Of course. Their office is just over there. Whoa, my god. Whoa, that was what happened? slick. You just got lucky. <laughs> A biento, Mamselle Emily. Hey, do you know where my uncle is? No, but I bet you're close. Bye, Ruth. I love you. Like, oh, look for the address of the. Ah, we got forbidden knowledge. Okay, uh, New Orleans lies southwest of Dracetto along the Great Mississippi River. Its old town, the French Quarter, or the Vu Carre. <laughs> is I'm, I'm really <laughs> I'm really trying. Is the home of the proud and often rich. Creoles. Wrapped around this center, you will find a large and uh, electric <laughs> city full of people, <laughs> including the most mundane dock workers, reckless gangsters, jazz crazed flippers, and of course, the mysterious voodoo people. At night, you can stand on the lakeside of Dorsetto and watch New Orleans uh, glow like embers on the horizon. I'm doing my best. It's not very, it's not good enough, really. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds to witness Ec the enigmatic Black Eclectic. Pharaoh. He was a kind of itinerant showman, who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear wherever he performed. It was the sort of thrills my father sought out, especially if there was a promise of electrical trickery. The Nolan's address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext Shipping Company pressing their contribution in the morning papers. There were rumors of an Egyptian sarcophagus being a part of the act, something which kept me wondering how they had carried that up the seemingly endless stairs. The details of the showman's performance have almost been entirely replaced by dread. The kind that numbs and hides the terror of something unbearable. What is certain is that ever since that night, I can't remember a single day passing without seeing or sensing the presence of a dark man. <sighs> uh, driving ideas, style, or taste from a broad or di and diverse range of sources. I actually know what eclectic meant. I just... Pronouncing things right now just ain't it for me. Preg's Shipping Company. According to the book in the Great Library, they assisted a showman performing somewhere in New Orleans. It's somehow connected to Jeremy's introduction to the Dark Man. I'm sure I can find the address inside. I want to go backwards. I don't know where to go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, especially with my uh, Dayquil brain right now. Ooh. Oh, no. okay. Alrighty, okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. We're lucky I'm I'm pronouncing half the words I am correctly. It's locked from the other side. Oh, fuck. Maybe it's for internet? I, honestly, even if I, I, listen, sometimes I, I, I know, but I, like, 
the actual, like, perfect definition isn't, you know, always right there on my mind, so. I honestly appreciate it either way. I think I have a cross. Okay, 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 okay. Am I not running very fast? Yikes! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Right in the dick! <laughs> sorry, sorry. There we go. Good lord. <sighs> I get that. If someone asks me for a definition of something, I actually do know. Sometimes I come up blank and can't figure out how to describe it. Yeah, I feel like that's the perfect... I feel like I know a lot of words, but... Oh, this is the... Okay, hold on. I'm in the wrong place. But yeah, sometimes describing it is hard. Or um, also, if there's a word that's similar, like sometimes I'll end up uh, like switching them. I can't think of a good like example right now, but... There has to be another way inside. You know how it be sometimes. I'm not. Okay. Sewer entrance. Well, I guess we're going into the sewers. Which sucks. There's keys. I want in there. <laughs> can I, wouldn't you just crawl through, honestly? She can definitely fit through there. Like, she might have to take off her bag, but she could definitely crawl through there and crawl back. Yikes, I have six bullets. Gonna have to find those. Uh, oh. If I can drag him out over here, I can get to that Molotov. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, bad. That's bad. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Oh, I hate that you can't put these down. It's the worst fucking thing. <laughs> it's the worst thing. There we go. I think I killed everything over here, honestly. Okay, so I know how to get in for the sewers, but this building, I, I think we have to get in this way. I'm sure there's a guy back here. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, little birdie? Barest I shotgun you? Probably shouldn't. Okay. This key kind of seems missable, though. Doesn't it? Oh, it's the key for around the way. 
Hello, could you please not close that on me? I really, I don't appreciate. What the f what? And a what? And a what? And a what? I'd like to be able to throw some more things at him. Okay. That'll work, I guess. This is where I was. Shit. <laughs> I need to keep going around. Nope, okay. Never mind. Okay, so I guess I've done what I can here. The map is up of no you I have a map of this place! What do you mean? Okay, I think I got all the bullets and stuff. Okay, so ultimately we need to go into the sewer route, but stuff. Mmm, okay. Typewriter ribbon. Gla sunglasses. Oh, this is about- this is Resident Evil. That's Wesker. I've cracked the code. Okay. Maybe I can move all that junk out of the way with the crane. Okay. There maybe? Okay, well I have plenty of bullets for this now. The map leads you to warehouse eight. <laughs> Please, not again. Okay, so we have a cool Molotov here. A sick Molotov. If I have to fight anybody. Mm, I have a feeling I'm- oop, we got full on the pistol bullets. I have a feeling I am gonna have to fight somebody here, cause look at that. Oh, okay, I guess we did need it. It was not optional. All done. Shit, shit, shit. Oh my god. Can I... I frame through? No! a lot of people um <clears throat> light let there be there we go <sighs> yo <laughs> crouching no oh i guess she doesn't have to do it the whole time <sighs> thank you good Am I gonna be doing a lot of fighting down here? I have a feeling. Hey, what's uh? Hey, what is? Hey, what is that? Oh my god. 
<laughs> and uh, suddenly I want to go fight the horde upstairs. What the fuck was that? What was that? I'm not I ha I'm not happy. I'm not happy about that. I am not happy about that. Uh-oh, okay. I'm gonna have to run back and throw something at somebody. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? going over here thinking there's gonna be like some sort of secret or I get to see something like good but no. Getting up out of the sewers? That's nice. Yeah. Thought we're gonna be in there for longer on. Is this a fight? Oh, I immediately like fucking Molotovs. Oh, and all the ammo? Guys, I don't feel good about this. All right. I made it inside the warehouse. Now let's find that address. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't good. Look at all the fucking Molotovs, dude. Bad news. There's even more up here. And a place where you can jump off to loop something. Okay, jump it if I have to. Something's gonna crawl at me in here. Wait, let's take a looky. <gasps> this is getting ridiculous. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm also not complaining. <laughs> Tommy gun, let's go. Like this is bad news. All his things. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the paper safe. What is left? Later is right, and hell is back again. Uh, this feels like a combination to a safe. What is left, later is right, and hell is back again. Oh, all of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Okay. And look at that. It was a fucking safe. Okay. Okay. I'm actually gonna have to figure it out, aren't I? Our ship was raided while in the while in dock. All of his things were recovered, 
but blood was shed, several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by the ones who lived in the deep. All items have been signed and delivered. Now best keep the papers safe. What is left later is right. And hell is back again. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, well, okay. How I thought this was going to go was we were going to find an extra note and like we were actually going to have numbers of things. But now uh, late, later kind of sounds like eight. <laughs> Hell, maybe like six, like six, six, six. But what would what be? I also thought maybe like it's like Roman numeral like V's or I's. Like hell would maybe be two since it's got a two in the word. But then again, what would what would later and what be? Because later has one L, but what has shit all? Oh, but it's got, well, it's got two, W is basically two Vs, so ten maybe? <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm really reaching and I'm making it much harder than, than what it actually is. Oh, wait, hold on. I have this. I have this. I don't have this. I thought what later in hell would be in the in the in the fucking note and I'd have to count the numbers and I was like <gasps> Okay, what if it's what if it is 453 which is the amount of letters in those words. <laughs> 4 Mhm. Mm 5 Uh, I don't think that worked. Left is four. Oh, maybe I have to do like this. Five. Yes! Okay, I did. Yes! Gotta go manifest on September 19th, 1892. Black shipping company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus and the large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh, performing at Gaitin Street. Okay. Okay. Time to fight my way out of this place. It's gonna be hell. This is it. The address to the theater where Jeremy first met the dark man. Okay, I'm gonna run back in here and I'm gonna use this Molotov on whatever comes here and then I'm gonna dodge to the door and it's gonna be so fine and nothing bad is gonna happen to me. That's a lot. <laughs> the Tommy gun's a little crazy. <laughs> I'm out of bullets. <laughs> she was so sad. I'm out of bullets. Okay, that wasn't as intense as I thought it was. Did she, she sounded like she was gonna fucking cry. I'm out of bullets. Certainly you are. Out of bullets. Okay, that. Yeah, once, um. Once, uh, there was no, like, those letters in the note where I was like, oh, okay. A severed horn. Okay. How much you want to bet that crucifix was in the fucking graveyard and I missed it somewhere? I feel like it was. A lot of bullets. 
Time for me to leave. Ruth, come get me. Looks like the fog cleared up. Ruth, please come get me. It's time to come get me. The address you're looking for is just down the street. <laughs> okay. I mean, I was just looking around, but okay. I bet this is locked. I'm gonna have to go around. <gasps> this was not locked. Is this the address I'm looking for? Maybe? So what's back here then? Nobody better mess with me. There was nothing under this fucking tree. What the fuck was the point of that? Okay, I'm going now. <sighs> Any more ammo anywhere? Okay, good. We're in a house setting. Let's let's keep the Tommy gun for like a crowd situation, shall we? I want to go under there so bad. Dark man masks. I think the dark man had a mask like that anyway. Miss that Molotov though. <sighs> Guess that was fine, but <gasps> Jeremy. You shouldn't have come. Don't say that. You needed my help. All I wanted was to keep people away from Dissetto. Especially you, Emily. You're the only one in the family who forgave me for choosing old age over death. Father still cares for you? He is paying for your treatment at Dorsetto. To get rid of me! That's the only reason anyone's at Dorsetto. Someone in the family thought you were becoming an embarrassment. Help me get you out of this mess, Jeremy. I want to take you away. Your father would send me right back. What if I take you up north, to Kingsport? I know Mother still has family up there. I've been thinking about going for a while now. I haven't been to Massachusetts in years. I still paint from memory, you know? That old lighthouse makes for a great motif. Changed his tune Your fast? Your father and I would go almost every summer. Then when our great uncle died, we stopped going back. What is there to be done about the dark man? He's the one holding you back, right? You feel like you can't leave without paying your debt to him. The dark man has been with me since I was 12 years old. He was standing right on that stage right over there. For a brief moment, his gaze held mine. And that was it. I recognized him for what he was. The heart would guys embodied in flesh. I thought it was my turn, but I was only there to be mocked. Instead, his attention moved on to my father sitting next to me. I turned to him and saw his face. The widest shade of pale I've ever seen. He bit off his tongue that night and suffocated. Oh my god. What can be done, Jeremy? 
please. There's a way. Two ways, to be exact. One worse than the other. A written contract now buried inside his sunken temple. Don't you remember what it said? <gasps> I don't want to. Try, Jeremy. What did the contract say? No, we can't. We can't let New Orleans suffer that blight. I have to make this sacrifice. What are you talking about? Is this the thing from the bayou? Juan said something. Ah! Right man behind you. Probably. Nope, I guess it was fine. I really thought, like, Jeremy knew and was okay, like- Okay, the so there is a way to break the pact at least. Hidden somewhere inside the dark man's temple. I just need to find it. Somehow. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. All right. One second. Can I leave? I need to pee. Okay, I don't know if this is a good place to stop or if I should do this puzzle or if it's gonna throw me into chaos. Uh, okay, so... Um, two... Five, ten? Something like that? Two, five, ten, maybe? Oops. Oh. Ten is not a thing I can even do. Was it not M? It was M. Wasn't that 10? Yeah, Scorpio's 10. Oh, I see it's Virgo actually. My bad, it's eight. There we go, I was so close. Oh. Oh yikes. <laughs> oh yikes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Is there any treasure on the floor? Oh my god. Losing my mind. Huh. This looks intense. How fast do you think I can get oh. this done? Or do you think I should stop it here? It did just save. I feel like this is gonna be a whole thing. I feel like this is a good place to stop, actually. Um, you can save the game? Since when? <laughs> no, okay, no. I know for a fact you could not save the game. Absolutely not. I I literally quit it last time and it was like save and quit. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. I'll see you guys next stream. So if you know, bye.